welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Grade side set, a maze of memories. Okay? So in this video, I'm going to be grading this uh, side set for Yu-Gi-Oh! Realism. And we will see whether it's worthy to be bought by the community. Anyways, let's get on with the rest of the video. Okay, and so we have um, the cards to look out for in this set. So the best reprint in this set, as we can see, you can see on the screen there, is Baron de Fleur. Great card, um, you know, before the reprint was looking at, you know, 100 apiece, no matter the currency or TCG country you're in uh, for Yu-Gi-Oh! It was looking at really expensive three digits. Now it's gone to, you know, double digits, so it's looking... It's looking at a decent price. Still not the best, but definitely better price now than it was before. And we have our support update, Gate Guardian. Gate Guardian is the new, uh, it's not really new, but old archetype really, that's gotten a huge uh, wave of support in this set. Um, does it change uh, Gate Guardian? Absolutely. Does it make it better than it was before? Absolutely. No, time will tell to see whether it will enter a competitive scene or whether it will just remain there as it was uh, before um, so I'm not really gonna put like you know a potential update for some gate garden because it's not a new archetype it is essentially just old an old wave support new archetypes will have potential uh, you know on them and we'll see how that goes with that okay let's get on with the rest of the video okay and so we have confirmed Yu-Gi-Oh award winners and uh, so we have the best archetype uh, 2023 Cash Terra. We have the best wild card 2023 Tipu Tactics Thrust, and we have the best reprint 2023 Baron de Fleur. First of all, let's talk about the best archetype, which is Cash Terra. Now, this is a confirmed winner for the Yu Gi Awards, which will be hosted later on on my channel at the end of the year. But as we say, as I say with these awards. Um, it is subject to change, and if Cash Terra is going to keep that coveted title, if it's going to be the best archetype of 2023, well, it's going to have to prove its metal. Essentially, in the latest uh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh tournament in TCG, Cash Terra was the definitive winner, and it was in the top four spot, winning the whole event. Now, if Cash Terra is to remain the best archetype of 2023, it has to prove some results. So in the next YCS that is happening in TCG, we need to see Cash Terra top again. And it needs, so it essentially needs to top the next consecutive uh, official tournaments, be either the winner of said tournament or be in the top four. If in the next tournament it is not in the top four, then there will be and the winner, and it's not the one that has won, it needs to you know the whole event then it will be in the next uh you know great uh core set or side set series um whatever's won that event will be replaced and cash Terra will be put down as are not as in the nominations for the video awards but you know leaving that aside so a lot of pressure on the on you cash Terra. you gotta deliver Lots of expectations from you, so we'll see whether it delivers. And finally, we have the best wild card 2023 Triple Tactics Thrust. Gotta say, I was a bit wrong about this card, but you know, who knows? It has uh, taken this spot because in the latest uh, tournament, it has been in the top four in the listing. Whether it was the side set, whether it was the main set, it was in the top four, and it was in the thing, the third and fourth position in the main, you know, in the main, you know, it was main. So there's a lot of potential for this card and it needs to remain the best wild card of 2023. Then we need to see it retain its title and remain in the top four. I think this card can do it. I think it's a definitive winner and I think we have it sealed in. But who knows, maybe in the next YCS, in the next Yu-Gi-Oh tournament, it's not gonna seal its place and uh, another wild card would take its place. But I think Thrust has got it down. I think it's got a shoe in uh, to, to, to win that. But who knows? 
a wood can change overnight. And if it's definitely usurped, it'll enter the, uh, you know, nomination awards. And finally, I think the sealed win is uh, Baron de Fleur. I think Baron de Fleur is gonna take it for the best reprint of 2023. I believe it's got it, it's a shoe in, and I don't think any other reprint this year so far is gonna be as good as Baron de Fleur. As the value that it's that it's dropped by is absolutely immense. Okay, and that's all I've got to and that's all I've got to say, you know, about this part. So let's go to our final section, grading the set. Okay, and so we have the final section, which is grading the side set, maze of memory. And so with all things calculated and with all the impact that it's had and with a mild sort of uh, reception it's had, overall grade is sick. It's yeah, it's above D, so it's not really, it's not really ass, but I think it's you know it's a C. It's not B tier, it's not A tier, it's just middle of the road at C tier, and I think that's where it stays. I think this is a good grade for the set. It does have some really good reprints, you know, alongside you know Guardian Chimera. That's a great reprint as well. We we like that. We like to see that. Uh, we have a uh, we have you know good support update for Gate Guardian allows it to play it in a play that deck in a new way. And overall, it just there's some good reprints in this set overall, and we have some new cards as well that enter the stage that no one's really talking about. Whether it's that Cyber Dragon uh, Cyber Dragon spell card that allows you to search overload overload fusion, definitely Cyber Dragons needed that card, needed a way to search overload fusion. They are now one step closer entering that win, uh, that win condition and overall there are some like really obscure cards in this set uh, some new wave of support that no one's really talking about that definitely does something to help some decks not really we we can say some old decks not really to say some some broken out support but something substantial but you know you just got to look deep enough and I think that's all I've got to say about you know this set. I think it's uh, I think it's a middle of the road set. Is it the best set? No, but it's not like a really bad set either. It's just middle of the road, and um, yeah, that's all I've got to say about the set. So I think that's it. I think we've come to a conclusion. Yeah, I've come to a conclusion anyway that uh, this is a middle of the road set. I think it is a better set than Amazing Defenders, I can definitely tell you that. Amazing Defenders, which came the site that came out at the beginning of the years, is looking to retain that spot of the worst side set of the year. Um, obviously, we did have Mikanko just do a complete flop, surprising top in you know in the in the in in you know our first ever tournament this year, but Leaving Mikanko aside, it never topped again, and uh, and that was the regionals, by the way. But overall, you know, that's that's the way it is. That's the way the cookie crumbles, and yeah. So all I've got to say is tune in next time for the next grade uh, side set or core set video, where I will go and uh, grade a set for Yu-Gi-Oh Realism. Hope to see you soon. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.